Damn, y'all just be out here lacking? Crazy. Okay. So I had a homie not too long ago. Well, it was a long time ago. We was like 19, well, 18 years old or so, I would say. And he started moving kind of crazy. You know, um, he was a good kid, you know, raised with both parents, you know, um, in an environment that wasn't the best, obviously, but... You know what I'm saying? He didn't probably have to worry about no competition. Somebody punched him in the stomach in the third grade, and the nigga went to the principal's office crying because he said it hurt too bad. You know what I'm saying? I know you're not like that. The people around you know you're not like that. It's not that big of a deal. We go through our teenage years, bro. I got way more drama personally because of my last name, dealing with my family shit and stuff like that. I didn't feel the need to start brandishing weapons early on because I knew niggas wasn't really for real on no type of threat game, honestly. And if you got a problem with me, you know where I'm at. You know you're going to see me. That's just how I feel. That's how I roll. And also, at the same time, you're not going to fuck with my family either. So, like, it is what it is. You got a problem, you're going to die. That's how I feel about the situation. But everybody went on that type of time. So, I knew when niggas start brandishing weapons and they start talking about, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I was just like, bro, you're not real. Like, nobody does that. People who actually, you know what I'm saying, want to stay away from the problems, they're going to stay away from the problems. They're not going to start trying to, like instigate or trying to sneak niggas into an issue or nothing like that so when we got a little bit older i say all that as a precursor to say that when we got a little bit older buddy started moving like he had opposition like he had ops or something like that and i'm like bro why are you why are you moving and talking like this when he got his first little shit my man started putting it in a book bag granted we was already in school we was already out of school we were already out of school at this point i'm like nigga where are you going you have a backpack for what niggas wearing it in front with the straps like on the back so he's not wearing it on a backpack he got a front pack so he's wearing it like this always holding his arms like this anywhere we go and i'm like dog we are we're, we're, we're literally going to go get some fucking du some tubbies like what are you why, why are you holding it like that like niggas are walking around they know you got something in the bag first of all who would try you knowing that you got something why are you holding it why are you inviting issues or a problem no one knows you Every time we walk around the corner or something like this, 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 is, this is what he start doing. Imagine, I'm not gonna show it. Imagine, imagine this my, imagine this my shit. Imagine this my shit, right? We are, we are in a, I don't care, a Dunkin' Donuts. We coming out the shop like this. We coming out the shop out the Dunkin' Donuts. He got the bag on him like this. We come out the shop. like nigga what are you doing no one even knows you're here we've been in this shit we've been in this bitch for 20 minutes if somebody was gonna get you they'd have got you while you was eating what are you doing we play in a basketball game nigga start talking a little bit of trash go over to his bag what was you saying oh no i ain't i'm just chilling his bag right here, he reaching it and shit like that. Like he about to pull something out. Uh, no, nah, I ain't even. <laughs> Niggas in the passenger seat of the whip. Niggas in the passenger seat of the whip. Chair all the way lean back like the nigga about to get some head. <sighs> you know, I got to keep my head on the swivel. You never know. You never know. She could pop off any time. She could pop off any time. So I'll say all that to say. Niggas in situations that don't cause for it. I'm I'm of the very strong opinion that I'm of the very strong opinion that no one who is afraid to be outside is going to be visibly letting the world know that I got it on me. If you don't have any ops, if you don't have anybody watching you or threatening you, there's no reason for you to be letting the world know I got it on me. I get having a little satchel or a little bag or something like that. I understand that because you could be holding it for any reason. And I get keeping your stuff, you know, locked away or tucked away in case of emergency. You might be in a situation where you might have to defend yourself. That's fine. But I, then I look at John Morant. I look at John Morant and I'm just like, my boy, you realize that you are 
Ain't John Moran like he got a hundred million dollar contract or something, right? Hundred million dollars, right? But I can't take my people nowhere. That's why I let them thugs stay. 200, in 200, in 200, 200 250. That's why it's called the trap because they literally trap one dimension. They know reading the magazine look, of the gun. They're look, reading a look, book. Look, two hundred million dollar man plus. You have to realize when you're too valuable to have ops. John Morant. Even if somebody hated him to the point where they wanted to kill him, no one would try it because they know they wouldn't get away with it. No intelligent, somewhat mildly intelligent individual would attack him at this point because there's no way I could do it, get what I want, and get away with it. So that's number one, why you shouldn't even be worried. Number two, if you feel like you need to have a gun, just get security. Hire security. Why do you have it on you and it's a friend in the vehicle? Second, you see him with his cell phone out and you pulled it out while he was recording? I need to show you the video because I saw it and I was just like, bro, this is insane. There's no way he's a real person. This isn't a real person. Oh, my God, that scared the shit out of me. This isn't a real person. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, 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 I kind of. I kind of had a little bit of a brain aneurysm when I saw this. Memphis Grizzlies star John Moran. They don't give a fuck about basketball. They don't care about John Moran either, so I don't know why they're talking about it like that. But, like, on Saturday night, it shows Morant with my man's is in the wit with his homies. With his homies, having a good time, playing whatever. 115 people in the live is crazy and still getting caught. Wild. What appears to be a handgun while he my man's who my man's on the side with 115 viewers on live had enough common sense he don't even have nothing to lose low key had enough common sense to use a fake imaginary hand pistol john morant say oh i'm gonna match that energy times 10. boom here go my shit. yesterday the grizzly said are you stupid video and suspended morant from all team activities Pending league, re league review in March, Morant was suspended for eight games after he was. And it would be different or OK. You could get away with the excuse. Hey, man, this is just a person. He's 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 he's, he's telling the news of six, six, nine and supposedly coming out. Oh my God, it's too much. It, it would be OK if you wanted to be like, oh, he's just, you know, practicing his Second Amendment or whatever the case is, whatever, whatever amendment it is that gives you the right to bear arms or whatever. But. Why would you do it on live? What is the point? If I had it on me, why would I want anybody to know? If I'm in danger, hire security. If I need to have it on me, I won't let nobody know. I'll just let them find out in person. I'm a basketball player. No one's going to try me. I'm worth too much money. I'm not even in an area or in a position where nobody would try me. Why, am I, why do I got this on me? I don't need it. Or if I do need it, why am I showing it? I'm on live with my homie in the whip listening to an album. What are we talking about? In holding a gun inside a nightclub on Instagram live, a representative. He was at a club. Why was you holding this? For Morant did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't get your bit. OK, my bad. I actually like him, Loki. He need to get out of Memphis. It's not good for him. I, you can say that, bro, but after a certain point, it's just making idiotic decisions. It really, how old is John ja Morant? If John ja Morant is under 20 years old, then I might give him a little bit of a pass. I probably won't, though. How old is John ja Morant? He, yeah, he's too old. 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 He's too old, bro. I can't give him that pass. I can't give him that pass. This is the second time I don't get it. But also to anyone else who has that type of energy, bro, just realize if you are not in a position or a situation where someone is very obviously a threat to you, this just this really just comes down to actually gun safety. How about that? Like, How about just keep your shit tucked away or keep it hidden until you have to use it? And having to use it is not a situation where you in the car listening to a to an album with your man's, bro. Like that's just not that's just not the time. I know it seems like common sense, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's not. I'm very disappointed because 
this is just a waste of money at this point. You don't even have to be a good NBA player for the remainder of your contract. You just have to run it out. If you never want to play again, you could go into business for yourself off of another venture. You don't have to do anything else. I remember when Jiao was blowing up in high school. I'm from SC so I know how N words get down. But he doing too much. He think he's still in the country. His parents wrong for Not that name. Best. He's in his second childhood lol. He's being influenced by rap? Uh, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that whole influence by rapper thing, bro. I don't. You at an age, to me, in my opinion, bro, you at an age where you should know or have had enough real life experiences to let you know that there are certain ways that are about shit and there are certain ways that ain't about shit. And if 90%, 95, almost 100% of the rappers that you listen to that are quote unquote influencing your decisions, you make 10 to 20 times more than or will make 10 to 20 times more than doing what you do versus the shit that they might be talking about in their music and you can't see the dichotomy between the risk profiles and all of that, then you need to, I don't know what you need to do. You mean to tell me I don't have to, I ain't got to do none of the shit that I'm listening to and I can still bring in significantly more than any of these niggas that I'm being quote unquote influenced by and you telling me that I, that's the one that I want to emulate? I don't think so. I don't think so, bro. He made his decision and you can say it's influential. You can say it infl impacts the culture to certain degrees, but like this is a, this is a grown ass man making his own decisions, wanting to be portrayed a certain way that knows the consequences of that portrayal, which is him not getting the money that he's been promised. That's just dumb. That's just stupid. You're not influenced. You're just stupid. That's just what it is. He went to rehab in Florida after the first one. I don't, I don't, I, no, no, no. That's just dumb. I hope he get better because he's, you are in the Don't greatest be position. Don't by rapper groomment is so dumb because a lot of NBA players listen to rap and don't do this. Bro, it's plenty of niggas that listen to rap and don't do this. Plenty of them. Especially when they in the position where they're getting and seeing money from other places. You're not doing this and then be like, oh yeah, I'm being influenced, bro. If anything, you should be influ influenced by the NBA players. This is your profession. You're not a rapper. You ain't got ops. What are you talking about? He wasn't the one recording this time. It don't matter. I see a phone. Why am I pulling out my gun? I got a phone. I see a phone in any general vicinity and my man's might be on live. He's recording. Why am I brandishing my gun? God damn. Didn't he already? It was another situation where he quote unquote threatened somebody at a mall. Same type of situation. Like, why are you moving like that? I don't. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I'm not defending him at all. Like, this is crazy. This is insane. You are making way too much money. You don't have to do nothing else. You are good. I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate people like this so much. I really do. I really do. And some really talented individuals that might be a little bit shorter than you on the genetic side of the game that might be able to put up a better game than you i just think about i don't know man i don't know i start thinking about all the other people who deserve my spot and it's me instead that's what i would think about that's what i would think about but it don't mean nothing to some people so it just it is what it is